you know, when Game Pass uh, dropped all those Bethesda games on there, uh, I, there was there was definitely a glaring omission, at least for me, and that was Quake. And, you know, even on the PC side, I was like, well, OK, wh- wh- where's the Quake at? I'd love to play Quake. They've had to have ported this over to Xbox at some point. Right. So turns out they were waiting for QuakeCon, which just happened. And uh, at QuakeCon, they announced and then released on multiple consoles. There is a uh, enhanced re-release of Quake uh, uh, capable of up to 4K uh, and on basically every. It's on Switch, Xbox One, Playstations, um, and on Game Pass is going to have it. And added bonus that's kind of nice. It, it, it work, the Quake 1 works in cloud as well. Although man, the responsiveness was tough. I don't know what happened. I, I was trying. To, I was trying to uh, Game Pass Cloud uh, at my mother's. She's got like Comcast out in the middle of nowhere, and like I'm sitting right by the modem, and it was having problems. And I used to that used to be the place where you know I I had really good luck with streaming games. But I, I don't know. Game Pass Cloud still is kind of finicky. Um, but if you load it on the PC and you have Game Pass, you actually do get. Uh, I'm saying all three, three of the quakes. This Quake Four, for some reason, not a part of this. Um, but you'll get like the quote original versions of uh, Quake Two, Quake Three. You know they'll do as good as those are going to top out for games from you know the, probably all before 2005. Uh, so um, you know again something I haven't had Steam. I have the original discs floating around my off my my Twitch office. Um, but uh, but good to see that a part of that. And again, like something you can pick up on. I think it'd be a fun little Switch game to hop into Quake because Quake was such a pick up and play first person shooter because because nothing made sense on it. Let's be honest about it. So <laughs> <laughs> at least the first one, right? Um, so definitely recommend that if you're on Game Pass. Um, if you want to jump into it, it looks like it's ten dollars across the platforms. Um, if you're not on Game Pass, so definitely uh, can be worthwhile. Um, I, I say no, no enhancement and upgrades for Quake Two, but and I think they might have just recently pulled this off. But there is an RTX version of Quake Two that's been floating around. Uh, it was part of the NVIDIA um, NVIDIA Now GeForce Now package that you could pay. Like I'm paying five bucks a month. I think it might be ten for new su- subscribers now. Um, that was just kind of included. Which was kind of nice, um, I, I believe, I, or maybe I got it in some package on Steam or something. I don't know. It just showed up on day one, so <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay, this is the only Quake thing there is, and the only Bethesda product because they pulled everything else for whatever's going on." Well, actually, it makes sense. Bethesda is not on GeForce now because they just got bought by Microsoft, right? So they're like, "We're not going to stream these anywhere else." So, um, did, did, did you guys play Quake? You have any Quake memories? I'm trying to. I'm trying to actually remember. I think was. Quake, I think I got Quake at Comp USA. <laughs> okay, on like a demo. Mm-hmm. It would have been that CD. It was still like that shareware kind of thing where you everybody like everybody had the first episode. Y- yeah, and then like it was like, but it was still like five dollars mm-hmm. for the CD. Oh yeah, and then you you could call a number, and they gave you like an unlock. It was like the last shareware game. Because like Doom and Wolfenstein and Commander Keen were all that too, where you got like you would just get these demo discs packed in with like your computer or something else, or that five dollar, ten dollar DVD, you know, CD bin, CD ROM bin, and then um and then yeah, you have to like like I remember there were postal instructions to send money to <laughs> to like up, unlock the rest of the original Doom or something, right? Like in like that MS DOS font, so. Um, but like, do you think you just played like the shareware version and stuff? No, I remember. So I bought the, the CD and then I found a key gen. Oh, <laughs> he did that thing. Yeah, I did. That I've never, thing. I've never, I don't think I've done those for those like shareware games like that. But, um, anyways. and you could get, I didn't realize you can get commander keen, the complete pack, all three episodes. Mm hmm. Yeah all, that stuff's, Steam. yeah, all that stuff's on Steam. Um, I think I can't remember if I purchased or my brother got me for my birthday at some point. Um, there was like a there was like a giant 3D realms like, hey, here's everything package. So I have like the first two Duke Nukem's and all that kind of stuff. Um, it, was, it was pretty crazy. So I know I wait, can't, Commander King was in software, wasn't it? They're all Apogee, 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 Apogee games before they became whatever they became. So. But anyways, uh, uh, Katie, do you have any quick memories? Was that one that uh, floated around your household? 
I just remember the disc. I don't think we ever actually played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, this is it for me. So it had a Nine Inch Nail soundtrack. Oh. And your nail gun, uh, the little ammo boxes for the, nine, for the nail gun had a Nine Inch Nails logo on it. That's that's the biggest thing I remembered. And it's one of those, like, remember you could always so- throw in the CD uh, for CD-ROM games, and the soundtrack was literally just, like, CD tracks on them. So you could throw them in the CD player, skip the data track, because that was just, like, <sighs> like, it sounded horrible. And then you could just, like, listen to the soundtrack. It was, if you wanted to. War, Warcraft. It's so funny. When you mentioned uh, Nine Inch Nails, I have a Best Buy Trent Reznor story because, you know, he was local to our area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh-huh. ho- let's hold on to that for Patreon. Yeah, I yeah. once had his phone number. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. And, I, and I've mentioned my... So is your Patreon? I've, I've, I've mentioned my, my connection to the Reznor family too, right? On their show? Well, we'll, we'll do well, that on Patreon too. Uh, your tor- your story is probably way cooler than mine. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, we got something to do later after the show then, so we'll put a pin in that. 